Welcome everybody, we've got another bolt action video here today and this time it's on some um, German infantry that I've painted uh, over the COVID-19 break. So we've got 21 infantry here uh, and they come, I think they came out of the D-Day um, Normandy box that you can get um, and they gave you 24 in that box. So we've got 21 um, individual infantry and then we've got um, one here which I'll show you which I made into a uh, medium machine gun. So um, I'll go through um, what we made. So we made a um, light machine gun here, light machine gun team, just deploying. Uh, we made three uh, Panzerfaust. Rocketeers. Um, I made a few, uh, you know, two or three SMG guys. This guy here is my uh, favorite. It's got the helmet off. I went for some more greeny type colors for the for the color scheme. Um, usually, I think their pants are gray, but I um, saw a couple of colors um, on the on the on the webs, and yeah, I thought that the green would look a little bit better for the pants, sort of wise. Um, there's a few of the SMG guys. I'm oh, sorry, the um, assault rifle guys, I should say. STG um, rifles. Um, the ones I like the most, I think, are these ones with the mesh helmets. These guys turned out really great. Um, this guy in particular um, is probably my favorite out of the whole lot. Um, he's awesome. Just the mesh helmets, I think, are the coolest coolest um, head option in that kit. You get about five or six different styles of heads. Um, and then there's a few different types of helmets too. There's about two or three um, types of helmets. These come from the Grenadier, um, German Grenadier box. Uh, and they'll be um, either Grenadiers or uh, probably the here infantry for me, I think, um, list-wise. Um, all of them have um, pretty much got bolt actions. And then there's the odd um, semi-auto rifle in there as well. Um, this is my, or one of my NCOs. Uh, so he's just got a little bit of some orders there, really cool model in the binos, um, and potentially another one could be this guy here too, uh, which is, you know, the same same SMG. He could be another NCO. I plan on making two 10-man squads with this one, um, two NCOs and, um, you know, 10 guys in each, maybe one squad with a, um, all the Panzerfaust and one with the LMG. Uh, and then I made this, which is from three of the models, which I made into a medium machine gun team. So generally the medium machine gun has the, um, the what would you call it, like a stand, it's like a bipod stand thing, um, which is a lot more heavy duty than the bipod that this guy's got on. Um, but I found it cool, this is kind of like a, a fast moving team. Color schemes wise, um, I did... I used Vallejo paint, I don't know what the um, the numbers were, um, but basically I started from a dark green from the pants and worked my up with uh, white. I did uh, my color schemes a little bit different this time. I um, painted on the highlights first and then I did the wash uh, at the end rather than doing um, base layer, wash, then highlight. I did, sort of did it in reverse and it's, you know, muted the colors quite nice. I did some eye detail on a couple of guys there. Um, the skin was the <clears throat> contrast paint, um, something flesh, I think it was, and then I just went over that with um, just your normal GW um, flesh paints. I think it was Caledon flesh or something like that, just to highlight it up. And yeah, that's uh, my German infantry, really. And um, I've got a, another couple of medium machine guns to show you at some stage. Um, there's a few extra teams, like the sniper team and the command team, um, and there's things like the, um, um, there's like a little howitzer and things like that too. So there's a couple of um, extra models in there, which um, we've got painted, which I'll show you down the track as well. So hopefully you enjoyed this, um, just a little mini showcase, and um, we'll have more showcases uh, later on with the full army together, and um, we'll show you what that looks like. So um, please remember to subscribe and like this video if you liked it and you want to see more content. And um, hit the notification um, bell if you want to keep up to date with some of my progress. This was all done over the COVID-19 break um, for a month. So we're locked down for about five weeks in New Zealand. So it's taken me about five weeks to do 
about 1200 um, points of German. So stay tuned for that video and um, we will see you in the next one.